John here and welcome back to another King Oger video. So today we are breaking down the King Oger trailer English subbed, which is nice. Uh, and this was from the press conference, which happened Monday night. I know I'm, I'm going to be a few days late, but let's just get right into it. I'm not going to play any of the audio and we're going to skim through the trailer and I'm going to discuss it for Sentai for uploading this and to Zombie Week. For, I'm guessing translating it. So thank you for your work. Let's get right into it. Here we have, um, and this is sort of like a ancient mural prophecy thing, um, which seems to be on the ceiling. This must have been built around this. So maybe this is underground, perhaps? Here are the two bad guys. The main, these are the Bugnarok guys, uh, which look very cool. Reminds me of What's his name from Jojo? Genus? Genus, I think, from Jojo. Reminds me of him <laughs> with that face. And uh, hopefully it flashes. That would be awesome. And this guy just reminds me of Sandbash from Ginga Man. I know nobody knows that. He reminds me of that kind of <laughs> the design. <laughs> and uh, these guys look. So we have. So these are the mooks for the season. Um, obviously, they're, they're bugs. I don't know what kind of bugs they are. They do have like little piercers and stuff and they're attacking people. And um, apparently they're called the Terra Empire Bugnarak. Bugnarak, Bugnarak. Those are the bad guys. Which you can assume there's already six kingdoms because there's the five kingdoms of each Osama Zentai, you know. And then there is the Bugnarak Kingdom, Terra Empire, you know. Kind of like a... Uh, <laughs> Think of it, think of it like Zeo or um, O Ranger, the Machine Empire. You know, they live on, a, on their own place and they send down, you know, guys, the robots to attack and stuff. I'm thinking it's kind of going to be like. That. And then here we have this big, giant guy just destroying this clock tower. I'm guessing one of the Bugnarok that grew big. Uh, this is probably the first episode. <laughs> Luckily, we have the wonderful king of the five kingdoms and the shoe god king oger this is definitely the first episode <laughs> he's fighting uh that big guy and obviously he wins boom beautiful beautiful set pieces here i don't expect him to use this all the time but you know at least for the beginning it's gonna look great they're gonna have some great mecha fights and i don't even like mecha fights so i mean that's how you know it's gonna be good so first off we have Tamba Olger, and he is from the Kingdom of Technology, which is uh, Noscopa. Interesting name. But here is like the city, very advanced. You got electrical, you know, pylons. And then you have this big sort of Tesla coil um, as the base uh, of the kingdom. As well as there's Tamba Olger, and maybe a few other little guys floating around might be a part of this. Here is King. Yanma Gast. Now, what's interesting, if anyone has played Pokemon, you know, hopefully, that there is a Pokemon who is a dragonfly called, there's Yanma and Yanmega. So, I don't know if that, uh, I don't know if Yanma is like a kind of dragonfly or uh, just some sort of nickname or something there's a little pokemon that's a dragonfly literally called yanma so i mean come on he's very cool he kind of looks like a gamer like a crypto bro or something i don't know what's going on here but there's tombo oger very cool actually very nice looking um and then we have the kingdom of health and beauty ishibana himeno ron no i have no correlation to anything with that so sorry but you have Kamakiri in the background. Also these very Monster Hunter-esque symbols and, and, and sort of caricatures, whatever, of the bugs, which I like a lot. Please upload those somewhere so I can use those, thank you. Very cool, she's sitting on top of her throne. Very nice. And she's very princessy. Oh, 
compared to um, the other. Let's see, uh, she seems very, <laughs> very cool. Here we have like sort of like a bridge or whatever, and there's kind of a carry, which is pretty massive. And then we have her butler. So I don't think he got shown off in the press conference, like casting reveal or whatever, but. He's definitely going to be somewhat a part of the show. On to the best one and everyone's favorite, but I've been here since day one. We have the neutral kingdom of law called Gokan, which is home to the king, Rita Kanista. Now, if you're a fan of Toku, Rita should be a name you know already, either from Psycho Battle or Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, either the movie or the show. Also, actress. It's female, obviously, but their character is a king, so that's very interesting. I don't know if that for sure means they're, like, non-binary. Um, I will have to wait to see in the show, I guess, uh, because their character it seems very shut off, but uh, we'll have to see. Either way, just the actress being a female and then a king it is, is great already. I love that and easily my favorite. I just click with this character so much already, and I can't wait. So she's in the Snowy Kingdom, which is easily my favorite already. I love any snowy parts, games, or movies, or areas, or anything. I love it, and I mean, come on. Best dance, look, she's doing the dance, best dance. She's got the the scales of justice at, at the front gates. I mean, come on. And she's got the, <laughs> she's got the, sort of like the ninja outfit almost. Um, kind of like, uh, reminds me of, of Shino from Naruto. Which is also a bug, a bug user. So, I wonder if that had any play in this. Pillion, which looks great. Uh, here is the, the, the butterfly, and it's massive. Also, here is this lady, who I'm guessing is sort of like a retainer or handler or something. Um, I believe she did get revealed, which we'll talk about either in a video before or after this. I don't know. I haven't recorded it yet, but she has been the she has been revealed. So we look good to see her. <laughs> Next, we have the Kingdom of Agriculture, which is Tohu. This place is very Japanese. Massive sort of uh, wooden like door thing. I don't know what those are called. Bamboo door, like the folding ones. And he's in kind of like this... I don't know. I don't know what that is. But there's the, the main base for him. Which is Hachi Oger, who is King Kagaraki Daboski, which is a interesting last name. He is very cool. He's also the oldest one out of the group, which kind of makes sense. And there's the B, and there's a very happy retainer, which, once again, very Japanese. For everyone else, also Shinkenger. You know, and then. We have the ultimate industrialized kingdom, which is quite a name, <laughs> the Shugo Dam. So this is the main one we've seen in the background, and the main one, because this is Red's very cool place. Hopefully we get to visit all these kingdoms and, and see them and stuff, and they're not just backdrops. I want them to be a part, in, in order to make this feel like these are different people from different places, I want to really get into these places, you know. I want to see the people, I want to see, I want you to go there, I want you to talk about it, you know, build up these worlds. Don't do like Curator, just fight on Earth for most. Show us, build up these places so we know them, so we care about the people who are there, you know, that's kind of what I want. Anyway, we have the King Blackleth Hasty, Blackleth Hasty, I'm guessing, interesting name for sure, and he is the king of the kingdom. And here we have sort of the main town with the Kuagata stone turned to stone. And then this is our actual red, 
So that was the actual king, but this is the actual red. His name is Gira. So he's a self-proclaimed king of evil, which is awesome. And he becomes Kuagata Oger, obviously. Everyone walking, sort of a celebration. Everyone with the retainers uh, walking to the main town. Uh, Shugodam. I'm guessing they have to meet here for some sort of summit because the threat is back and they need to meet and work together. Sort of like a NATO type thing, I guess. Okay, so it's the story of Gira, who would would be king, I guess. I guess he's going to actually become king. So that's interesting. He's the king of evil and he becomes king in the end. Um, I wonder what that means. Yeah, that's pretty much the trailer. It's coming very soon. Like two weeks soon. Uh, March 4th will be the uh, start. Everything's happening so fast now. And also there's that. So, <laughs> this is a cockpit. It's some Edge of Tomorrow, like, Attack on Titan type deal. Um, this thing's amazing. I don't know how they had the budget for this thing, but it looks awesome. Might be one of the greatest, this is, this is awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is for the trailer. This is King Odor at the end, and a close-up on uh, King Odor. So, that was the trailer. Um, I'll link in the description to go watch for yourself with the audio. You get to hear it, get to hear them talk, and then to read subtitles. But I just wanted to break that down, give my thoughts, and yeah, I am very excited for King Odor. Uh, the excitement grows more and more, um, but I am kind of skeptical, a bit sad, because Don Brothers is ending. But, you know, you have to start again. That's what this is all about. So, I will see you guys in the next King Oja video, whatever that may be. Probably sooner than later, it seems like. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys then.